so the next statement i will discuss break and continuous statements break and continue statements in c break and continue sorry break and continue break and continue statements break and continue statements we will discuss so these are called these are also called as branching statements branching statements so why these are called as branching statements means whenever one of these statement is encountered the flow of execution will be branching from one location to another location okay so there is a difference between break and continue so whenever break statement is executed directly control comes out of from loop that means if the break statement is executed within a switch statement directly control comes out of from switch statement and whenever break statement is executed within a loop control comes out of from current loop means if it is executed within uh, inner loop control comes out of from inner loop and if it executes outer loop control comes out of from outer loop and if it executes in a switch statement directly the flow of execution will be transferring from switch statement means directly control comes out of from switch statement and what is continuous statement continuous statement functionality is completely different means to skip some part of the loop we can use continuous statement and whenever continuous statement is executed the flow of execution ignores the rest of the loop rest part of the loop and automatically it takes control to the next iteration next step okay once again i will explain whenever break is executed what happens automatically control comes out of from either switch statement or loop statement looping statement and whenever continuous statement is executed the flow of execution will not come out will not come out from loop or switch statement okay it is there within the loop only but the rest part of the loop is ignored and directly the control goes to the next cycle next cycle of the loop okay once again i will explain whenever break statement is executed directly control will be coming out from loop or switch statements okay the break statement can be used either in switch statement or break statement sorry switch statement and loops whenever break statement is encountered by the compiler within switch statement what happens automatically control will come out from switch and whenever break statement is executed within loop what happens control uh, will come out from the loop and whenever continuous statement is executed what happens here the control will be there in the within the loop only within the loop it will not come out okay it is there within the loop but it skips the rest part where continuous is executed and transfer control to next iteration okay how that will be executed just i will show one small example <coughs> first i will write the break statement uh, explanation break it is going to transfer control from that means what we can say whenever break is executed break is executed directly control comes out of from loop control means flow of execution control comes out of from loop or switch statement loop or switch this is regarding break so whenever continue is executed continue does not transfer control to out of loop okay so whenever continue is executed 
is executed the rest part of the the control, the control will not come out from loop but it skips rest part of the loop rest part of the loop rest part of the loop and control is shifted to <coughs> control is shifted to the next cycle of the loop next cycle of the loop okay for example <coughs> to have a small look here just to have a look just i want to print uh, alphabets from capital a to z and small a to z small a to z so how to print uh, alphabets in c language for upper for uh, lower for upper case letters you can take the help of ascii values okay so here you take i value from 65 to 90 okay so when the i value is within the range between 65 and 90 it is going to print a to z capital letters and when a i value is in between 97 to 122 97 to 122 so it is going to print what small letters suppose i may take a for loop like this 65 to uh, 122 65 to 122 then what happens here in between 65 and 90 it is okay it will print capital alphabets and when the i value is in between 97 to 122 it is going to print small letters but when i value is in between 91 to 96 it is going to print some other characters okay so in such case i have to skip the loop in such case i have to skip the loop to skip the loop we can use continue statement to skip the loop we can use continue statement okay so how to skip the loop and how to ignore the loop how to come out from the loop just you have a look i will show it practically started i value from 65 and i am going to terminate it at 150 why have i given 150 means that that is for showing break statements directly i can give up to y is less than or equal to 122 but for the sake of break statement i have given up to 150 150 that means initially i am checking condition if i is greater than 122 that means up to 122 only we require to print the values after 122 i don't want to print any values so when i value is more than 122 simply say break means simply control comes out of from loop and whenever i value like this uh, i value lying between 91 and 96 this is a 91 91 and uh, 91 and 9, 121 91 and 90 120 sorry this is 96 not 121 96 96 i am saying what continue so that what happens here uh, control skips printf statement that means after continue statement i wrote what printf the printf statement will not be executed directly control comes to i is equal to i plus plus one. means i value incremented i will i will i value will be going to next cycle if it is 91 it will be going to 92 if it is 92 and if it is going it goes to 92 93 94 95 96 okay that means to skip to ignore i value is from 91 to 96 i have given what continue statement see the execution three errors are there just i will explain just i will rectify the errors
It is C language, no? Declaration come, initialization will not be taken. Just the first way I have to initialize it. Right. See the values. From? Okay, I will clear the screen and I will show. Percentage 2C I will give. Spaces. Like this. First, See the output from A to Z after A to Z small letters from A to Z suppose I omit this continuous statement see what happens I will make it comment see some other some other letters are uh, characters are printed in between capital letters and small letters okay after capital Z Something like a opening uh, bracket, slash symbol, closing bracket, caret symbol, underscore, and uh, single quote symbols are displayed. Okay? So those values are printed whenever I value is in between 91 and 96. Okay? To ignore I values from 91 to 96, compulsory you have to execute continuous statements. Like this. Okay, so this is regarding continue and break statements. <coughs> Whenever break is executed, what happens? Automatically control will not be there. Automatically control comes out of from loop. And whenever continue is executed, control will not come out. Just it skips the rest part and it, uh, it is going to the next cycle. Automatically, the flow of execution is shifted to the next cycle, like this. Okay, so this is regarding continue and break statements. These are most important in the data structure application and any kind of applications. Break and continue statements are most important.